we need to bring back accountability because individuals like you're about to see here in this video should be held accountable and this is the type of mentality that they're teaching at homes in the schools they're brainwashing this generation programming them with nothing but hate unnecessary hate and just to think that this individual is a teacher and a mom hey man if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like share subscribe leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys think about this video here in the comments and with that said let's get into this one going at 38 yes you are ma'am good morning which is and the speed limit is 40 and i was going 38 so why are you harassing you're correct i pulled you over because, because you're a murderer wow because uh, yes, I started to record because you can't you're a murderer. Be a, you can't be on your cell phone I, I wasn't while you're on driving. My phone. I was recording you because you scared you can't, me. You can't use your cell I phone while you're recording. You. May I have your driver's license? I, it's, it's at my apartment. What's your apartment? It's at my home. I'm just taking my son to his. Do you therapy. have a, Do you have your driver's license? I, it, I mistakenly left it at home. Do you have a picture of your driver's license? Yes, I do. May I have it? And can you call your supervisor, please? Because I, I already did. He's on his way. Good, because you're a murderer. Okay. And so you're giving me a cell phone ticket? Is that why you're harassing me? Not harassment. Yeah. I, I am enforcing the law. I have a right to and record the police when they're harassing me. I swear to God, we're the worst. By all means, but you can't do it while you're driving. I was. I can. I wasn't. Doesn't texting or none of that. Do you have, and you have that you picture? scared me and made me think you were going to murder me. Okay, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. Well, you're, that's not just a feeling, you're a murderer. Okay. Can you zoom in on that for me, Sure. Jay? Thank you. And I'm perfectly legal, and I'm a teacher. So oh. there. Congratulations. Murderer. You're a murderer. What's your last name? I can't see that there. Well, if here you, you stop, go, murderer. Stop shaking. Zoom in on that for no, me, No, because man. you're scaring me. Oh, the, you're threatening to and my son can you give me okay the, the well, you, you, i'll tell you what. what when did this officer threaten her and the son i can't remember him saying anything like that and she showed out her profession i'm a teacher like that's supposed to mean something you want him to respect your profession is that what you're hinting then you should respect his this officer walked up so nicely he even said good morning but he is so bad I honestly wish individuals like this could go back to the 1900s so they could really see what real racism was like. They called this racism. She called this harassment. He told you why he pulled you over. Call your sergeant. Imagine calling your sergeant over a situation like this. That is just simple. Shouldn't be on your cell phone, ma'am. You know how many times I'd be at the light and people would be down on their phones texting and stuff and the light change is like 30 seconds. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? But this is a racist stop. Where have you guys seen any sight of racism? It's only coming from one side and that is from the individual that is inside the car. But you keep smiling, yeah, you're on camera. You keep, you're, th you're trying to threaten to me. I'm I didn't not smiling. Say that. You're the one who's. Crazy. Hold that still. I can't see that. Uh, is this your car? Yes, it is. And you're trying to say I stole my own car because you're jealous? Yeah. Is that what I don't that's think about? so. You wait for me right here, okay? You're jealous. Citation. All you need to do is just get your signature. He's only citing you for using your cell phone while you're driving. That's it. There you go, ma'am. Sign inside for the red box a, right there. For him being a Mexican racist. Oh, despicable. What is that name? Gas. It's on the citation, ma'am. Here you go, Mexican racist. You're always going to be a Mexican. You'll never be white. You know that, right? You'll never be white, which is what you really want to be. You there you go, be dear. White. Have you, a good day. You want to be white. So good. But what you need is to stop sitting around here trying to blame everybody for your problems. You need to check yourself. It comes from a deputy. It's his own personal body camera. He's been on the force uh, for 14 years and tells me he has his own personal body camera to kind of protect himself from, from false allegations when he's out there at work. Well, here's the kicker here. The sheriff's department confirmed to me today that the woman in that video, she actually called internal affairs and filed a harassment complaint against that deputy right after that traffic stop happened. The department also tells me that that woman has a history of making false claims against deputies. Oh, she has a history of that? And she has yet to be held accountable for making false reports? That right there is a problem itself. She called him a racist Mexican. Like before he was born, like he was given the option to choose what race you wanna be. You wanna be black, sir? Or you wanna be white? 
Or you want to be Chinese? You want to be Asian? He can help what race he's born? How are you supposed to change that? You can't change that. You can try all you want. If you're black, like Michael Jackson, you could probably bleach your skin. But you see how you look. It don't look normal. And apparently from how she was talking, it seems like to me that her son was in a car. So look what you're teaching your son. And you said that you were a teacher. So I could only imagine what you're teaching your kids. Ma'am, you were 100% in the wrong. That officer came up nicely and politely. I honestly, I honestly believe that you did all of this just to try to get out of the ticket. Even though you were a teacher and you're driving a Mercedes Benz, it's only a few dollars. So why make a big scene for this? People like this should be held accountable and should be fired. Because let's be honest, guys, if the roles were reversed, you honestly believe that a police officer would still have a job today? I don't think so. It's very apparent here by all of the parents that have spoken that this board and the school district is failing. Mm -hmm. um, more importantly, I came here to talk about critical race theory. This theory was never meant to be brought into grade schools, high schools, at all. It's actually taught in the collegiate atmosphere. And more importantly, the legal portion of the collegiate atmosphere to see different laws through the lens of race. The problem with bringing it to high school and grade school level is that we don't have the educators to properly teach these kids. Instead, they're using it as their own agenda to indoctrinate the kids to hate each other. Mm -hmm. And whether you believe that to be true or not, the reality is that's what's happening. Critical race theory is teaching that white people are bad. That's not true. That would teach my daughter that her mother is evil. Mm -hmm. You already have an educator within your staff that has pulled my daughter aside and said, well, you're a minority, so you know better than to engage in certain things. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, whoa. When I was brought to the school's attention, nothing happened to the educator. Instead, my daughter was brought in, and she was ridiculed. Oh. So my question is now, with critical race theory being brought in, what is your criteria to educate the educators? And who are you to educate my children, or any of our children, in life issues. Right. That's our job. Yeah. Yes. Your job is to teach them math and science. Yes. Our job is to teach them about life. I believe the people here don't look at me as a black man. They look at me as a man standing in front of you addressing the issue that we all are very passionate about. That's right. I like I liked the way he said that your job is to teach them math and science. It's our job to teach them about life. That is true to a certain extent. Can I remember my high school teacher used to talk to us and he would pull us aside and be like, hey, I see the crowd you're hanging around with. Those type of crowd, you know, they're involved in gangs. You could get arrested, you could go to jail. This type of stuff could ruin your life, could ruin your future. Stay away from that type of crowd. He used to give us a lot of advice. He wasn't trying to tell us white people were bad, this type of people are bad. He would have said the crowd that you're hanging around will get you in trouble. And little did you know, as time went on, we saw that kids getting expelled. Cops showing up to the school arresting students. He was looking out for us in the long run. So, you know, I could agree or disagree with that statement that he, that, that he just made. Because our teachers in our time used to look out for us. When you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other, that's pretty much what it's going to, that's pretty much, I don't care what it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids? This white kid right here got it better than you because he white? You're going to personally tell a white kid? Oh, the black people are all down and suppressed. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? How do I get, first of all, time up, because I only got five minutes now, not five minutes. Two medical degrees, no mom, no dad in the house, work my way through college, sat there and hustled my butt off to get through college. You gonna tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? Not one white person ever came to me and said, well, son, you're never going to be able to get nowhere because you know the black people. But guess what? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't going to be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't going to let you get no. Oh, you know you're not going to be able to do it here because you know, white, the, the white man, the white man going to keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now? Exactly. Point. Proven. If you want better, you have to see better for yourself. And if you want better, you have to work hard for better. None of that's going to fall on your lap. People like to use it as an excuse in life. An excuse to get over on others. And you know what we call that? We call that black privilege. That's like the lady in the first video who was going off on the officer. She was so scared. 
but you are so disrespectful. When you're that disrespectful, you are now the bully. You were bullying that police officer, and he kept the school. He kept the professional. Still so continue to do his job. I don't know how he did it because I couldn't hold it inside. You gonna disrespect me like that? I don't know how cops put up with this type of um disrespect because it's a lot to put up with. Nobody's holding you back but yourself. You are making yourself a victim mentally for no reason. Always remember, man. Like Scarface used to say, the world is yours. Nothing is impossible in life. Don't let anybody hold you back from your dreams. Don't let anybody program you to be a victim. There's so much racism, guys, that the lady in the first video was driving a Mercedes Benz and it's a teacher. So much racism, right? It's like when a celebrity tell you that you're being oppressed. But meanwhile, they're living in a $5 million house and they're the same complexion as you. If they can do it, so can you. But they want to keep you a victim for the rest of your life. Always remember who you are. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Pants used to be sagging. You're like, you know, the big t-shirts back then in the early 2000s. If you're from that era, you know what I'm talking about. We, we didn't like when, when police judge us and look at us and profile us like that, pull up beside us. We didn't like that. Not all police officers did that. So why now would you look at that police officer and call him racist without him showing no ounce of racism? I'm pretty sure she won't like the cops rolling up on her son all because of what he's wearing and his complexion. She won't like that. So I put this cop in the same light as bad police officers when he was just doing his job. All we can do for individuals like that, guys, all we can do is say a prayer for them and hopefully they could get all that hate out of their hearts. Hey man, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know what you guys think about this video here in the comments, and until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. You guys have a blessed day.